If you're a screenwriter and you've ever struggled with writer's block, this video is for you. I'm talking about an AI tool called StoryWork, which is like having a script doctor right over your shoulder. It's not aimed to replace you, it's aimed to give you superpowers and let your brain just really get to work. So stick around, I love this product and I'm gonna tell you why. Hi, my name's Hayden Rushworth and I wrote a screenplay over a period of more than 10 years. Uh, it's a screenplay that I love. I laughed and I cried while I wrote it. I had a real job. That's why I had to do this on the side. And But oh, I, I stuck at it because I love this. And I've been watching the emergence of AI tools as a possible way of being able to get my movie made because it's never going to get made in Hollywood. So I want to do it. If you are a screenwriter who is a beginner and you want to get good, or you're a good screenwriter and you want to get great, or you're a great screenwriter and you want to become astonishing and effective, this video is for you. I'm taking a look at an AI tool called StoryWork, which is like having a, an AI powered script doctor right next to you while you work. And I want to show you why I actually genuinely really, really like this thing. So Oliver Vanis, the CEO of StoryWork, reached out to me and this is a paid promotion, by the way. Um, yes, I'm being paid for this, but the great thing about that is that he's given me unlimited access to it. Now, Oliver's filmmaking credentials are already impressive, but he spent a while as a script doctor and a, essentially a screenwriting coach. And when AI popped up on the scene, he wondered, ah, is it possible to take everything that I do with my clients and turn that into an AI tool so that lots of people can get access to the stuff in my head. The tool has clearly been developed from a place of experience and that's unusual in the emerging field of narrative AI filmmaking tools. Often it's very, very tech heavy, which is necessary, but sometimes they overlook the involvement of seasoned filmmakers and storytellers and screenwriters and directors and actors. Um, and I think to their detriment, but this tool, you can tell that it's been developed by somebody who knows what they're talking about. So who's it for and who is it not for? And what does it do and what doesn't it do? It's for screenwriters who want to become great. Who it's not for is anybody who's looking for a quick fix. It's not for people who are looking for AI to do the job for you. If you're one of those people who wants to make an AI film and you want ChatGPT to do all the heavy lifting for you and to come up with a brilliant script, that's not what this is. This doesn't replace you as a writer. This turbo powers you as a writer. What it doesn't do at this stage is take the screenplay and turn it into a finished movie. It's not one of those kind of tools. So Oliver Vanis worked as a script writing coach for a long time. When he saw AI emerging, he thought, oh, I wonder if I could take the stuff in my head, the things that I've learned, and create an AI powered app that would allow lots of people to effectively sit with me and I go through that coaching with them in the same way that I would if I were there with them. There are 18 questions that he would typically work through and that's what the AI has been trained on. And my goodness, they are brilliant. So let's talk about how it works. You have to start out by getting comfy. It's like a writing process. Whatever your writing place is, wherever you have to go, whether it's a coffee shop, whether in my case, it's when the children are at school. In fact, I did most of this before children came along. <laughs> <laughs> I would struggle now without going somewhere else to do the writing, but you've got to get yourself into that comfy zone, get your coffee, get your hot chocolate, get your whatever you need and your comfy spot to get ready and begin the process. So when you log onto the website, here's what you've met with. When you head into story work, the first thing that you're greeted with is a very, very simple screen. It's wonderfully clean. So the creative process goes in three stages. Uh, you start out with an idea. The idea, in fact, let me show you over here, because this is one that, this, <laughs> Princess Farty Pants, this is the one that I've already worked on. I spent two days on this. They say that you need an hour at least to uh, to go through this process of fully completing an idea. Uh, two is much better. For me, I wanted to really get my teeth into it, and so I spent a couple of days on it. Here's the one that I prepared earlier. Um, let me show you, I've, I've actually, it says here, your idea is a hundred percent created. It me it tells you how far along your idea development is. You'll, and you'll see in a minute, this is really clever. Um, once the idea is developed, then you've got, well, actually there are three phases, the story development phase, which I have completed, but I want to go back and fix a couple of things. Then that moves on to the blueprint phase, which the tool does for you. And this is very cool, I'll show you. And then you've got the screenplay that you can move on to. Um, it's wonderfully intuitive. The idea phase uh, starts out with, like if you were to start a new idea, uh, let's call this a test story, ba-boom. 
uh, basically you're you're presented with a chat gpt type of conversational text box scenario and anybody who's used any kind of conversational ai will be familiar with this but it's wonderfully a uh, fluid uh, you can type all kinds of random thoughts as if you're having a chat with somebody and it keeps track of all of your random thoughts and uh, shows you where all those random thoughts could be. So it's a, it's a wonderfully adaptive fluid tool. So here we go. Uh, great. Let's get um, hi, Hyde and Rush with them. Happy to see you again. We've already spent some time together. We're friends. Are you ready to jump into a new idea? Well, let's give it a little go. Great, let's get started. What can you tell me about your idea? Provide me as much detail as you have, even if your ideas are not coherent at the moment. Now, this is the starting point, and you'll see down here there's quick access to, there are 18 questions, and there's quick, quick access to the 18, essentially, sections. These 18 questions are the questions that Oliver used to go through with uh, his clients when he was a script coach, and they're Fantastic. Let me go and show you back uh, with the idea that I've already worked on. So, um, Princess Farty Pants, if I click on this one, uh, let's go to Story Development, click to Continue Idea. And here what you'll see is right from the very start. Um, so this was the, the question that I was asking, tell me about the idea. And then I told, I, I typed up... The, the just enough to get the ball rolling about the idea and uh, th what's great is that the response comes back in moments and the tool I mean it's been it, it is AI it's, but it's been trained to behave like a script coach understanding everything that um, that Oliver un would understand when he would share his insights with his clients um, and, and also a bucket load of other great stuff from all kinds of other tools uh, and screenwriting tutors and screenwriting, not all the screenwriting knowledge and understanding that's available on the Internet is all packaged up in this uh, this this sage of a, an AI coach. It's great. So I typed in my uh, my idea and it's it, the response. It sounds like you've got a rich character arc and compelling setting for a coming of age drama with political intrigue. The idea of a young self-centered princess learning about duty and the importance of serving her people lays a strong foundation for a transformative journey. That's the kind of response you get when you've kind of answered the question. It takes what you've fed it and it reframes it back in the most useful and constructive way that this could move forwards. It's very encouraging. Um, and then goes on to the next question. What genre or mix of genres uh, do you think would fit your idea? And so I talked about the genre and a few other ideas. Lots of brain dumping going on here and it keeps track of all the brain dumping. It's wonderful. So and then feeds back, tells you how that works well. This will work well in this spot. This will work well in that spot. And then asks the next question, do you know when your movie is going to be set? Um, then I, it carries on. Um, I'd say Middle Ages, European, 15th century. Yeah, setting your film in the mid 15th century has an intriguing historical content. You can read this if you want to, but it's great. But the back and forth, what can you tell me about the world it's set in? OK, so this goes on back and forth and back and forth with me adding as much as I, I wanted to to kind of pad this out. And by the way, this is an idea that I first came up with oh, 15 years ago or something. Princess Farty Pants, a spoilt princess who has to be taken down a peg or two. So she's cursed with uncontrollable farts whenever she uh, is in romantic situations with potential uh, young suitors. <laughs> and so, and uh, you know, eventually find, she finds a nice guy. She grows up. She becomes a more mature, wise uh, potential queen. It's great. Anyway, I, I'd never developed it. And now I have a seven year old daughter and I, I kind of want to kind of share the story <laughs> <laughs> so it was a great excuse to kind of develop this. And it's been a wonderful, wonderful experience. Um, so the feedback I've got is terrific. I went through all 18 questions. And by the way, so over here, quick access. If I want to go to theme, for example, and click on theme, it takes me great right back to this question here. Question six, what's the main theme core argument of your movie? And by the way, if any, these are all great questions you got. I mean, this is the these are the building block foundations of a great story that you are drawn through the process of developing. 
the idea, the genre, the time, the world, main characters, the theme, theme and character, character background, personal touch. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, what does your main... Uh, what was it? Is there a connection between the story you want to tell and your personal life experiences or philosophies you have? This is deep stuff, but you have to be ready to go there because these lay foundations that are... They're important for the whole movie. It's great. So... Uh, story goal, inciting incident, adversarial forces, urgency, triggers, character arcs, audience reaction, ending title. I mean, that was a great one. What feeling do you want? Where is it? Uh, what do you want the audience to think of your movie? What do you want them to feel as they walk out of it? You might think that this is airy, fairy, pointless stuff. It's not. It's really important. If any of these sound a bit confusing and bewildering and a bit, you can chat away at any point and say, I'm not quite sure. Ask, what do you, could you tell me a little bit more about what theme means? I'm not sure I understand what theme means, for example. By the way, theme, if you're not sure, it's if you were to get to the end of a story and say, so the moral of the story is, well, that's your theme. Anyway, that's just one example. So going through all of these, Eventually, when you get to the end and you get to the final question, um, where is this final question? What should the title of the movie be? It gives wonderful feedback and some great reassurance that it seems to really understand and it reframes what you've been saying and presents it back to you. And you kind of go, this is sounding like it could come together. This is, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I've got it. And it does seem to understand. So when you've been through the 18 questions and you've had chance to go back and forth a little bit uh, to refine it and tune it, um, you have the option finally, when you're ready to finish this thing, of clicking the finish button. And this is magical. Watch this. The AI tool then begins to create the blueprint for you. And it's full of all kinds of surprises and delights. And finally, the blueprint is ready. We click continue here and this is brilliant. So we have a synopsis with a log line, an outline, which gives us this terrific kind of quick access to eight major steps for, the, for, for your story based on what you've filled in. And um, it doesn't have any dialogue. That's not the point at this. It's about the structure. Um, and then this is from the characters. Princess <laughs> Andrea Dartefans. Uh, she becomes smarty pants and then farty pants when her curse kicks in. So here we've got some basic characters. Princess uh, Andrea. Henry, who... Now, I did mention that he was aged 23. He looks a little older than 23, but... <laughs> <laughs> the queen, the the queen mother, um, she's here looking marvellous, looking fantastic. Prince Solano. Now, if I had gone into more detail of any of the other characters, they'd be appearing here as well, presumably. But this is just to kind of get the, the ball rolling. You've got the option here to add new character. And um, the king. Done. And so with the king here... We can kind of uh, fill in the, the, the all the background stuff. But this is really, really helpful. But now that you've got this blueprint, it's then on to the screenplay. And when you start the screenplay, then you have um, Princess Farty Pants. Yep. The Royal Flair and Magic. Look what it's done. It's already got some kind of some bare bones in place for us. By the way, if you're used to using screenwriting software, all the tools that you need are here for uh, creating a properly formatted screenplay. Scene heading, action, character, parentheticals, dialogue, transition. Uh, so if you're used to using Celtex or Final Draft, this will, it, 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 it's great. It does the job. All in all, I've been really pleased with this. I haven't worked on the, the screenplay at this point, but in terms of getting together the structure, I got further in a, in a day or two. Uh, with a structure that I'm really pleased with. Of course, I may go back and go and change it if I actually seriously work on this story. But the whole thing ties together. It's a really, really compelling story. 
and I, it when you read through the um let's go back to it if we go look through the um let's see go to idea and then we take a look here at the blueprint when you read back through this thing it's it's fantastic i mean it's a it's a terrific kind of summary of a synopsis for a story that i i didn't think i'd get this far with let me show you the prices and this is where it gets really fun i mean this is fantastic not only do you get to write the screenplays and the outlines the final draft but you get some basics that are really brilliant for free but 9.99 a month is in the ai scheme of things is just bargain basement stuff it's not bargain basement this is a great tool but you've even got, there's an offer at the moment where for three months you can just pay twenty dollars for three months and this it's really really good i i don't know how quite to say this without sounding like i've been paid to say it i pay, yeah i've been paid to look at this but i would genuinely if i was writing screenplays this would uh, no questions this would be something i would cost justify in a heartbeat because of how useful it is how valuable it is really really good tool